Hello, I am David W. Parker, and this is Programming Today I Learned Webpack Series, Episode 10. We're going to be looking at hot module replacement using Webpack. So in this particular um, set of code, I am using Jauco Norjig's uh, GitHub code, so you could follow him, check his code out here. I made sure to link to it in the show notes. And so we're going to be using this as the baseline. And the main reason for that is because of this line right here where he says, HMR is kind of finicky. Yes, and this is very true as you will see, but we can go ahead and explore what he did in his code and talk about why it's good and how it works. So, uh, same thing as normal, all you should be needing to do is npm install and npm start, and everything should work as expected. So we have three different files to load, A, B, and C. These are our modules that require his loading. And uh, so right now we just have some console logs for each of them, but you can understand they may be modules with different sub-modules or anything like that you'd like to do. So they're very simple at the moment. And let's take a look at the extra example here. So we have this context and we have some modules. We have this function where you can put custom reload logic into and you can check whether or not you're using uh, a reload or not. And then we're going to go ahead and throw all the modules into uh, this object here, JSON object, and then use the reload logic uh, with false for is reload for the initial time. Uh, we have access to module here and then dot hot, and that'll check whether or not uh, hot module reloading is enabled. So you can, within each of your modules, decide whether or not you're going to actually use HMR within that or not. Um, Within that, there's this accept uh, function, and this is, allows you to update bit, you know, based on a dependency tree. So in this case, we all have a context, and they'll check the ID, and this will allow you to do specific things with the context there. Um, you'll note here that we're requiring context again, uh, and that's because you need to call it in order to get the newest version. You might have errors about disposed modules and old modules there. So after we grab the context again, um, what Jocko is doing in his code is where you're going to go through and figure out what modules have changed um, by basically taking each of the keys again, mapping and filtering, and then doing strict equality um, on each. And if it's equal, then it means it's been unchanged. And then once we have the, all the changed modules, we're going to iterate through all of them, reassign into our JSON object what each module does, and then use some custom reload logic on those, stating that the is reload has been true. So when we run this for the first time, as you can see down here, you can see that each of these modules are being loaded and the console log for each is being output. If we go ahead and change and just save any one of these at any time, you can see that it's now being reloaded and um, it, the HMR update is shown. So that's kind of it with the, uh, the short version. Uh, we'll get into doing some more complex things with it in future episodes, but play around with the code, uh, see what you can do, see if you want to make custom logic for a specific module or do specific things, and that's it. If you like what you saw today, please subscribe and check out my newsletter. Thank you.